Hi friends, today we will going to see a batch processing with mule soft. So basically, what is a batch processing? Okay. So we will going to see in a demo, and also we will see like how we can use the message message and richer in the batch processing. Right. File new mule project. I will say batch process. App. Fine. I will. Runtime as a default. I will not going to select Maven or any other settings. I will say finish. I will show you like today we will going to work on account data and I have some Salesforce account. So what we will do? We will you know like we will add the account in the database and it will get synchronized with the Salesforce account. Okay. In Salesforce we have a view called account. First I will clear my database. Okay. We don't have anything in the database. Let me draw a drag and drop. HTTP listener, okay. Sorry, sorry. I'm very sorry for that. Not HTTP listener. Let me drag and drop batch into the message process. Batch, you can see input uh, three stages. Uh, basically, we have four stages. First is input, then load and dispatch, then process record, and on complete. Load and dispatch uh, stage run in the background. So basically, it used to split the record into the collection of the record and then it give it to the process record stage input basically used to trigger your batch process and on complete on complete will give a summary or it will give a report of the number of process record failed record success record succeeded records etc okay so let me first uh, drag and drop whole scope okay let me drag and drop database connector okay first we will configure database connector let me configure it. I will click on this add button under connector configuration. One minute. First thing we will add the dependency for the database connector. So I will go to build path. I will say configure build path. I will say add external jar. I will look for SQL JDBC jar file. This is one. So this is used to you know connect the database. Okay. Now I will go to connector configuration. I will select generic database configuration because I want to work with SQL database. Microsoft SQL database. This is my connection string. Okay. I will give it here. So basically, it can, you can see connection string contains the server name, port number, database order. Okay. And I will give a driver name. This is very important. Again, I will say, okay. Okay. I will test the connection. Okay. Test connection successful. Okay. Let me say, okay. I will say, okay. Other thing, now I have to select the operation. I will say, select. I want to write a query, I will write afterward. First, I will do the configuration for poll. For poll, we have to do, we have a various frequency scheduler and cron schedule. We will use a frequency schedule. By default, I will keep 10,000 milliseconds, it means 10 seconds. I will enable the water mark. So, like we have to pick the uniquely added record into the database. Okay. So, I have to give some variable name. I will say max account ID. Default value, I will say 0. Select expression. So we have a like ID here. Okay. So we want to use that ID. So I will say a load dot ID. Fine. And what should be the object store? Sorry, I am very wrong. Yeah, I am right. We also have to use the selector. I will select max. So we have to pick the maximum value from the database. Like maximum, see if we get a four or five record. Okay. And we have to you know, choose the maximum ID from that record so we can store that into the max account ID. Okay, and you will come to know why we are storing into max account ID. Let I will show you. Okay, let me copy this table name. Okay, I will say select star from control view where I will say ID should be greater than now. We can read read that max account ID from using flow bars dot i will say max account id okay so now it will pick the only uniquely added record now next step so we have to add uh, into the salesforce we have to add data into salesforce so we can use salesforce okay i will use connector configuration in salesforce what you have to do first you have to generate a uh, token so you have to go to my settings you go to personal and the personal you see reset my security token you click on reset security token you will get an email with a token right 
and today we will work on the account view this is account and i will say go okay so these are all the accounts so we will going to add the account in this view okay so now for that i have to do the connector configuration so i will select basic authentication okay I want to give a security token. I, for me, security token has been already generated. So I will say control copy. I will paste it. I will say validate configuration. If connection is okay, so it will say test connection successful. Okay, that is fine. That is fine. Now I have to select the operation. So what we have to do? We have to create. Fine. What object? We have to work on account object. Fine. Now we have to use the transform message. We have to transform the message. So I will drag and drop transform message here. Okay, we can see like input metadata and output metadata is already there. Input metadata is generated from database and output metadata is generated depending on the operation and depending on the view we have chosen. I will say address go to billing state and plus state should also go to billing state. I will do a couple of changes here. What I will do, I will say plus plus, I will add space. Okay, let me bring it up, then it look better. Then state should go to billing state. Zip code should go to postal code. Let me control Z. Zip code. Should go to postal code. Straight. It's done. Country should go to billing country. ID no. Bit city to city. Account name to name. Let me say control Z. Okay, so this is the configuration we have to do. And on complete, I will add just a logger. It's, it's an optional stage. Okay, that's it. I will say processing completed. Fine, that's it. Now let me start job. And I will see, we, I will add some in diesel. We have already gene diesel here. Okay, two gene diesel. Okay, we have gene diesel two is already there. Let's wait our application get deployed. Wait, 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 some error. It should be not a big error. What is the error? One minute, one minute. Uh, I have to stop some application. Okay, that is stopped. Just a minute. I have to check it. This is all fine. Salesforce, I need to check it if everything is fine. It is fine. Let me stop again. Batch process, everything is fine. Full. Everything is fine. Database is fine. Let me okay, start the application again. Let me check. Okay, the application has been deployed now. Okay, so let's wait. Uh, okay, processing complete. Let me check the logger. So zero record has been processed. Let me add some record because there is a no record available. I will insert one. F5. Now we can say one record were loaded. Let me verify in the if we already gene diesel uh, two okay see gene diesel sorry it's a gene diesel three so we have already see it has added the gene diesel three multiple times even you know like we are picking the unique record but we are picking the unique record on the basis of ID okay okay now if you want to find like uh, that name is already present in your account in Salesforce okay so what you can do. Let I will try one more record with same thing. You will see third record will be added here. Okay, you can see like 
is one, two, three. This is not a good thing, right? We should not do that. For that, what we have to do? Let me stop my application. Okay, I will add one batch uh, step before the previous batch step. Okay, under that, I will call Salesforce again. Okay. Okay, before that, I will call logger just for logging purpose, not that use. Under, under logger, I can give like. Okay. Just I want to see the sound game. This is just for logging purpose. If you want to use, you can. If you don't, so now Salesforce. So first, what we will do? First, we will check if the record exists in the Salesforce or not. So for that, what we have to use the query operation. So I will say query. No, it's a query operation here. Okay. Now I will build a query. So what I have to use the account and just I have to verify the name. So no need to select everything. Just say name, add filter, and the filter you say name equal to I will say select this okay. I can put here I will say yes payload dot account name that's it. Fine. So now you are saying like check uh, if there is uh, any account name uh, this account name particular account name available in Salesforce or not. Now you have to do one more thing like you have to use the now you know like how other batch step will come to know like if this account is exist or not. You have to pass that particular existence of account to the next batch step. Okay. So if you see in batch step it expects some expression. So what we can do? Uh, we can wrap this Salesforce with a message enricher. Okay. Okay, we have wrapped it. If you see the XML also, so it SDS query has been wrapped it. So you will come to know what is use of this. So what I can do? Source source nothing. My payload. What I will say my payload dot size should be greater than zero. Fine. That's it. No target, you have to define some target variable. I will say record exist. Fine. So, what happened? Like, if you know, if we get some records back from the Salesforce, so it is going to store in this records part dot exist. That's, that's the setting you have to do. Now, here, what we can do here, we just let me copy that uh, expression. I can paste it here. Now here I will say not. If record not exists in Salesforce, then the process the best step. This best step. Okay. So processing means like add the record into the uh, Salesforce. Let me start the start the application again. Now you see like green diesel. So one, two, three. Let's wait our application getting started. Okay, the application has been started. Great. See if there is any record there. We have let me check if try to add any gene teaser again. No, one, two, three. Even I will try to add more gene diesel here. Uh, F5. Okay. If, okay, it has not added. So see, I have added a lot of gene diesel. Let me just see. No, here there is no. So now what I will do? I will try to add some other name. We have Mark Carter here. So let me add something other. Uh, I want to add more records. See if it's successful. Okay, I will say Michael Jackson. Okay. That's right. Now let me verify if I can receive Michael Jackson. Okay. 
get to it. Okay, there's some mistake in expression. It should not be here. Okay, sorry. Let me deploy it again. Let me add some more record. Let me check. Some issue. Let me check. It's not record so I am sorry for that some mistakes are there uh, some typo so let me do one thing uh, it's not records var it's a record var let me change it here also okay let me stop and deploy the application again uh, let me see now we will identify select the database Okay, we have three Michael Jack here, right? It should add single. Let's run the application. Let's wait. Okay, let me verify if Michael Jackson has been ready. No, no, let me check. Is there any error? No, there is no error. Let me add some record newly add. Let me delete this and I am going to add some more record if it's added or not. No, uh, let me delete everything. Okay, uh, F5. If it is added now or not, not yet. Let me refresh. Okay, now what is the issue? Let me check if I using the proper key or not. See, the Michael Jackson has been added now. It's taking some time, like uh, for synchronization and all those things. So I will try to add some more Michael Jackson into the account. Okay. Let me check. No, it will not add the new. Now, what I will do instead of Michael Jackson, I will say Michael Jackson one. Okay. So let me select. Now we have Michael Jackson one. It should get synchronized in some time here also. Let's wait. It, it. See, Michael Jackson one has been also. It is taking some time to refresh. Like uh, it is not getting refreshed from me. I have to refresh the URL. Okay. So now I will try to again add Michael Jackson one. Okay. Now it should not get synchronized. Be See, no record. Now let me uh, go to J. Some existing record. I will go to J. So we have something called Jitendra. I will try to add Jitendra. It could not get added. It already exists, right? I will say F5. Mm. Let me go to Jitendra. 
see Jitendra is already exists, it will not going to add the Jitendra again. Now what I will do, instead of Jitendra, I will add Jitendra Bapna in a database. Fine. See, you can see Jitendra Bapna is already exists. Okay. So basically I will going to explain the flow once again. So we have a database. Okay. And we have a pool. Under the pool, we have used the watermark. Okay. In watermark, we are, you know, storing the max account ID into the max, uh, into the variable called max account ID. Okay. So we, we have given the expression. We have se has select the selector. Here in database, like we are, you know, select the star from Salesforce where ID should be greater than the, the max account ID we have stored during the watermark. So we can read that value through flowwars.max account ID. Okay. This is just logger, not issue. And apart from this, we, we have used, used the Salesforce to read the particular account. Okay. And after that, if that account exists, so we are using the target variable called recordwars.exist to store that output from the Salesforce. In the, here, in second best step, we are checking if there is a no record exists, not a recordwars.exist, then you uh, process that particular best step. So in that best step, we are transforming the message, transforming like whatever result we got from database, we are transforming to Salesforce format and then using Salesforce connector to insert the data into the Salesforce. Okay. And finally, this is the log. Uh, on complete, on complete, it will give a summary of record. See, it's giving a lot of summary like total process record, total field record, like that. This is getting from on complete. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching video.